Hi, this is Fat Mike. I'm hanging out in my backyard, literally. And uh, today I'm going to talk about five records that influenced my songwriting and, and influenced my life, really. I'm going to start with Rocky Horror Picture Show. That album was the first music I ever had that was mine because I recorded. Uh, I had a tape recorder next to my TV when I was eight and I recorded the movie because I had Z Channel in LA and they showed Rocky Horror Picture Show to anyone who stayed up past 10. So uh, those are really the only songs I know by heart. And uh, I love every song on that record. Uh, it for sure influenced me to be uh, the weirdo that I am today and crossdresser and I got the tattoo, Don't Dream It, Be It, from that movie. Uh, but musically also, the melodies were really good. Uh, the chord progressions, I love them. A lot of them are, are simple rock and roll, but some, you know, there's a, a really nice chromatic progression in uh, uh, Superheroes. And uh, I've, I've definitely used that, that progression in songs like Bottles to the Ground and uh, others like Parents. But yeah, that influenced my life, that record. That was an amazing record. Another record that influenced me was uh, Rich Kids on LSD, RKL, Rock and Roll Nightmare. RKL were uh, friends of us. They were friends of ours. They were, they were the band that No Effects really wanted to sound like. They're from Santa Barbara. We lived in Santa Barbara. Barbara. We were like uh, mini RKL, except no one in my band could play, you know, half as good as anyone in that band. And half as good, I, don't, I mean one-tenth as good. You know, Chris, the guitar player, was way better than our guitar player. Joe, Little Joe was way better than me. Uh, Bomber was way better than Smelly. But that's the sound we wanted. And what, what happened is that uh, in like 1990, RKL uh, kind of broke up. So we, uh, we were the band Left Standing that kind of had their sound which, which is super, you know, fast riffs. Uh, but it was Rock and Roll Nightmare. That, that was the record. They had, they had a few records. That was the record that really, that we listened to every day on tour. And, and still, we can't play that well. But it definitely influenced our music. I took, I took the RKL sound and kind of mixed it with uh, DI and Bad Religion. And that's how I got the NoFX sound. Super riffy, uh, well, super fast, complicated riffs with cool chord, with power chords and chord progressions and, uh, and cool melody. Is the sun in my eyes too much? No, you're good. Good. Uh, so speaking of which, the third record I'm going to say is uh, Bad Religion, How Can Hell Be Any Worse? That was their first record. I think they'd only been a band about a, a year. And... Uh, you know, as Brett said, they just tried to play as fast as they could, and uh, it the rock, how that album sounds is just perfect. Little sloppy, like no one in the band was uh, had mastered their instrument, except for Greg Graffin. Greg Graffin had such a perfect pitch back then, and but but such a, like a rough sixteen-year-old's uh, voice. I, mean, I think he was seventeen when they recorded it. And uh, it just sounds perfect. It, it, it's the perfect LA punk sounding album. And uh, I, you know, we used to listen to that record. In my friend Mitch's living room and slam dance. You know, every day after school, we listen to that record with the Dickies too. But Bad Religion, you know, went on to influence us probably more than any other band. You know, after they put out Suffer, which was very influential. But the first record was when I you know, when Bad Religion were my favorite band. Then I heard The Misfits and they became my favorite band for a while. Okay, so another record that is a huge influence on me is, uh, well, I already said one musical, but I'm going to say another, and that's Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Uh, when that came out, well, one day Smelly called me, he goes, dude, I just saw a movie called Hedwig and the Angry Inch. You got to go see it. Uh, the music is incredible. And Smelly never listens to music or cares about music or even calls me. Uh, I was just so surprised that 
Smelly actually called me. Uh, so I was like, sure. So I went and bought the record and saw the movie. And yeah, it changed my life. That, that was the first musical since Rocky Horror that I thought was an amazing musical. Both, uh, but every song is just incredible. Lyrically, melodically, and, and chord progressions are just really, really fucking good. Uh, Hedwig and the Angry Inch is the record that I listen to after shows. When I'm on the bus, just, uh, you know, drinking or doing drugs or just calming down, I always put on Hedwig. It's my go-to record. For my fifth album, uh, I'm going to pick a band that was very influential on early No Effects. It's a band that we listen to uh, before shows all the time. You know, you listen to a band that just gets you really pumped up. It's usually, you know, Antidote from New York or Minor Threat or uh, CF CFA or, or Reagan Youth or Bad Brains. But this band, we actually used to cover two of their songs. It's Rudimentary Peni. Uh, they have a seven inch called uh, the Sacrifice Seven Inch, I think. But anyway, the record, the first record, Death Church, is the record that uh, we we used to cover two songs from Cloud Song, and Nothing But a Nightmare, and uh, that was our, like our favorite record when No Effects first started. We used to, uh, yeah, we I used to learn the bass lines for their songs, and and the drums are just like super clean, and the bass is loud and it's the sound we wanted to get but we never got it uh the first song that no effects actually pulled off that sounds like a peni song would be uh the big drag on our new album single album especially drums it does sound a lot like this the song they used to they played called rotten to the core just just it doesn't sound like it but it's got components and that was uh an influence you know like uh like the decline was influenced by uh, Cradle of the Grave by Subhumans. Big Drag was influenced by uh, Rotten to the Core, which is a funny song talking shit about Johnny Rotten and Joe Strummer. Not a lot of not a lot of bands talk shit about Joe Strummer. I certainly wouldn't, but uh, it's their their choice. We didn't. Uh, I'd, <laughs> that wasn't an influence. The influence was uh, just music. Those are five records that. Uh, I, that influenced me. I don't know how long this is supposed to be, but that was pretty long. <laughs> <laughs>